Hello, seventh grade. My fancy homemade haircut here, looking pretty bad, but oh, doing all right. Happy Tuesday in the last week of school, as promised today. Uh, genetics self check genetics test. I'm not grading this, but this is the genetics test that I would give at the end of the genetics lesson unit course of study. So I figured I'd give it to you and let you see how it is. It's not graded, but if you wanted to see how much you understand genetics, this would be a good way. Uh, I have a reference sheet that goes with this. When you get to some of the questions, it'll say something like, to answer this question, refer to number one on the paper. Well, this is the paper that you would have gotten if we were in school, but now you have a digital um, version of the paper. So you look at this question, these, this paper to help answer the questions. Uh, for this first question, it says, to answer this question, refer to number one on the paper. What term below would best describe each of the parent or organisms, the BB and the BB? The parents are right here. Not really clear. I don't know why I did it this way, but these are the parents right here. And they're making this F1 generation. So these are the parents, all right? Uh, some questions will say, well, looking at number two, look in box one. So this is what we're calling box one of number two. All right, so if it says look in box one or look in box three, this is the box we're talking about, these little threes inside of here. I think one of them says number four, look in box three. Okay, so we're looking there. And then it has um, up to five and six here. So give these a try. Uh, see how you do with genetics. I think there's 25 questions. Uh, some of these you'll need a little scrap paper to write on to make your own Punnett square. Uh, or you just might be referencing these. So um, that's that. Uh, Wednesday, we will be going with our... Where am I? There I am. Wednesday, we're going to be doing our regular uh, Zoom meeting, our last one, our last chance to catch up and uh, say something face-to-face -face with each other for a while until I hopefully see you next year. Uh, Thursday and Friday, we'll talk, uh, well, I guess we'll talk now, but I'll remind you in the Zoom. There's one unit we did not get to cover because we lost some time when we weren't sure what we are doing with the virtual classrooms, and that was on ecology. So there is a whole unit on ecology, which I honestly don't remember. I think I have a lot of the stuff up here, but this last unit on ecology, we did not have time to do. And, but there is some ecology terms up here, fun stuff. You know, it's all environmental stuff um, about a niche predators, uh, symbiosis, some good relationships between animals. There's some cool relationships, uh, mutualism, commensalism, parasitism. Uh, and uh, those are some pretty cool stuff uh, that deals with the environment. There's some mutual, like there's some uh, you know, birds that hang out on hippos and um, some really cool things, some parasitisms. Um, tongue eating parasites There's a parasite that will eat the tongue of a of a fish and then make itself latch onto its tongue stump uh, and then feed on the particles in its mouth that's pretty gross and cool and commensalism so those are some pretty neat ecology topics that we didn't have time for but i really think you should check them out uh, before the school year is up because you're not going to probably do it over the summer so do it now while you're kind of in the mode of doing it because there's some really uh, fun things in there, which I wish we had time to do, but we don't. So, uh, so I'll throw the the quiz test typey thing, which I'm not grading, not grading. I'm just waiting for the Google Classroom comments to come in now. Is this graded? Question mark. How is this graded? Not graded, but a self check to see how you would do. All right. All right, see you tomorrow for the Zoom meeting, our last one, and uh, see you then.